Mark Spencer from AppleMotion.net and RippleTraining.com here with a quick motion tip on how to reverse an animation, specifically an animated paint stroke. Now to create a stroke like this, I'll turn this existing one off. You can just take the Bezier Shape tool, draw a quick path to your liking of anything you'd like, hit return, go back to your regular tool, Shift S, we'll give it an outline with no fill, and then from the Shape Style pop-up menu, we'll go to Light, and choose the first light streak, light streak 01. And bang, you've got an animated light streak. Just very quick and easy to do that. Now, the issue is this. Let me delete that and we'll go back to the one I already had drawn on here. I like the shape a little bit better. What if you wanted this light streak to animate on in the opposite direction? This came up recently on the forums and I thought it was a very interesting question. How can you reverse the animation? Well, motion has the capability to reverse keyframes. But the thing you need to do is find the keyframes. By default, if you go to the keyframe editor, which is Command-8, you will see all the animated parameters for the selected layer. So we should be seeing some keyframes here, but we're not. With this specific type of animation on this light stroke, on this preset, it's a little bit tricky to get to the keyframes. and That's why I wanted to show you how to do this. What you want to do is go up to the Shape tab of the Inspector, and there, in the Stroke section, you can see what's being animated is these opacity tags for the color over stroke. To reveal those keyframes, you click on the Animation menu right here and choose Show in Keyframe Editor. Now we can see all of the keyframes for this animated light stroke. What I'm going to do is draw a marquee or a box to select them all. Then I'm going to right-click on any one of them and choose Reverse Keyframes. And just like that, the keyframes are switched around and the animation goes in the opposite direction. So the trick with this light stroke is to find the keyframes. With anything else, the keyframes will usually be there just by uh, opening the keyframe editor when that layer is selected. Now one more little trick that uh, could be useful is maybe you want to reverse it, but you also want to speed up or slow down the animation. So the way you can do that is you can stretch the keyframes. To do that, we're going to use this little tool right here, which is the Box Tool. It's under Keyframe Edit Tools. So I'm going to select this little Box Tool. I'm going to draw a box that selects all my keyframes. And then I'll just drag out on one edge of the box. I'll extend my play range as well. And now my whole animation is exactly the same, but just takes longer to complete. So that's two quick tips on how to deal with reversing and stretching or compressing your keyframes in motion. Again, I'm Mark Spencer from AppleMotion.net and RippleTraining.com. Thanks for watching.